welcome to December 17th. Yes, it is. It is Sunday. We are fixing to head to church. We're dressed, ready, all but br I gotta brush my teeth, but we've gotta do jelly first. Hey, it is going to be a stormy, rainy day here today, but we have lots to do today. We have the children's Christmas play tonight, and um, I'm gonna come home, wrap some presents. It's just gonna be, uh, and of course, church this morning, a great day, and it's the March to the Manger offering, so it was a special day for our church, and um, so yeah. Big day. Big day. It's a big day. So, and it's 40 some degrees outside, yep, so better, and it's not gonna get much warmer. Yep, I'm getting ready to go uh, wash my face, comb my hair, and get ready. Comb his hair. Here we go. All right, here we go, Mom. He don't have much to do there, does he? I, I got a lot of work to do. December 17th. The door says, Deck the Halls. With balls of holly. My halls have been decked la, 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 a long la, la. time. Tis the season to be jolly. Peach mint. Peach have, mint. Have we had that one? We had a peach, but I don't think it was peach mint. I think this is the first that we've had any I think mint. It seems like we liked that one. I don't remember what it was. Peach yeah, something. it was peach something, but I'm not sure. All right. How's it smell? Did you smell it? I didn't smell it. I bet it smells peachy. Just peachy. I can't smell anything. Right. Look, faint peaches. Not. Uh, it's not overbearing. All right. You guys done with your shopping? Got a week to go before Christmas Eve. We're not done, but We're close. Uh, this close. I've delegated the rest to him. Mm -hmm. We told him that last night on couch time. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I'm going so to I'm the. I'm telling you again. I'm going to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I don't know what kind of mint it is, but it's good. I can't taste the mint. I get a little mint. There's a little bit in there. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't. I get. I get the mint. I really don't know what that meant. It's really good. Wah, wah, wah. That's good. I forgot to look up that joke, but I'll do it before cheese time tonight. If you remember from yesterday, yeah, we were going to tell a joke, and I couldn't remember it. So she couldn't remember the punchline. No, I remember the punchline. I couldn't remember the the question about it. Are you going to go get it? No. He's going to go look it up for you. I'm going to get it for you. So. Um, it's going to be windy, rainy. We're expecting two inches of rain in just this one little storm. Somebody texted us. I'll let Lizzie tell it. What did Santa say to Mrs. Claus when he saw a thunderstorm? Looks like rain, dear. Womp, womp, womp. It is perfect for today. Now, it looks like reindeer. Now tell her, her jokes are as bad as mine. <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer. A young man in our church had his mama send us that one. Yeah. And, um, He's nine years old. So, it looks like reindeer. Looks like reindeer. So, it does. All right. Let's go out into the rain. Yep. All right. We'll see you there. All right. And uh, whatever we do today, we'll bring you with us. Here we go. Well, morning church service is over, and um, the kids are getting settled, um, and they're bringing in the train and so forth for the play tonight. So let me show you around. There's the train. The kids are seated on the front row. Over there. And they're hooking up the train for the play tonight. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Hey everyone, I have been home from church for quite a while. I've actually been wrapping gifts and I, I didn't get a lot done, but I got, you know, a good head start on it. So, um, Bryant, he brought me home. We went to eat lunch after church. He brought me home, dropped me out. We ordered pizza for tonight's party. We have a, a a get together after the children's program and it's all about the kids and um so yeah so anyway i am cutting the christmas tree lights off and i'm gonna leave my porch lights on because i want to see them when i pull up 
But I did get quite a few gifts wrapped. I got my um, angel tree gift wrap. I'm carrying it back tonight. Bryant needs his charger. He needs some drop cords that are in the car. And I need to cut that Christmas tree light off. Hang on. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, we're... Um, we got a lot going on tonight. It, Like I said, it's the children's play. Caroline has put together goodie bags because I think a gentleman in a red suit trimmed in white may show up at the gathering after the um, program. And so he gives out goodie bags. So Caroline has fixed those up for us. I'm headed back to church because Bryant needs a few things. But first, guess what I'm going to get? If you watched yesterday's video, I said it's what I could eat for lunch today. And I didn't get it for lunch today. So I may just um, make a stop on the way to church since I'm by myself. They're going to have pizza at church tonight. I don't usually eat because there's so much going on. I want a fellowship. So I don't usually eat at that. So I'm going to go pick me up if I have time. A Whopper Jr. But let's get the car. <laughs> let's head back to church and uh, get ready for this adorable, adorable kids play. I um I didn't cook anything today. I just wrapped a few gifts. Still have a long way to go on the gift wrapping. And um, but tomorrow we're hitting the ground running on baking goodies. So, uh, all right, let's head to church. Thought I'd show you guys how much it's rained today. Look at that water moving right there. It has poured. I think we're under a flash flood. You can just see it's just just moving. So yep, it's rained a lot today and still raining. Well, the children's play was absolutely adorable. The littlest ones came up and sang a couple of songs to begin with, and they were getting ready. There we have our little angels, and I think Judah was a donkey, and Levi was a cow, but super cute, super adorable. And here they did a rendition to Baby Shark, but it was Baby Jesus, do 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 do, you know, and um, it was so cute. And that's Joseph. <laughs> they were absolutely adorable. The play went over. Of course, there was mistakes. Of course, forgotten lines were there, but it was so cute. And Levi, just look, he is singing with his whole heart. Um, they did give the kids, the little, little kids suckers as they came out to be in the play. And I think that was like part of the play. <laughs> but uh, it was a little bit of a distraction for Levi. <laughs> but um, Camden, beside Levi, you can see he really has some rhythm to him. But um, Levi was enjoying his sucker instead of singing. <laughs> but every now and then he would hit one note really loud and do really good on that one note. <laughs> there he goes. Um, but all the kids did such a good job our set was beautiful they were made by men in our church we are so blessed we have a little party for the kids after the play and yes the man in the big red suit showed up and there's Levi telling him what he would like and in just a minute you're going to see Judah And here's my helper at the fellowship hall. He's washing dishes for me. 
Isn't he a good boy? Levi, are you a good boy? Yep, he is. Hey, everybody. It is. We're it's finally home. December 17th. And I'm in my jammies. And I'm in my shirt. Let's talk about, we got to talk about the Christmas play. Oh, we had a great night tonight. The, the kids did a phenomenal job. Just a superb, they worked their hearts out. They, Judah had to run to the bathroom and then was a play. I mean. <laughs> That's what I was going to wait to see if he told. Judah ran. He just like left the platform and went to the bathroom. He comes back and he starts to sing. And then all of a sudden he takes runs off. He out. runs back out and he comes back and he starts to sing. And all of a sudden he starts off again. And I grab him. <laughs> and he said he went to the bathroom. When he come back, he remembered he didn't flush. He went back and flushed. And when he came back, he remembered he didn't wash his hands. So we've trained the boy well. We just need to train him. When? To do it while you're there or wait till after the Christmas play program. Yep. So, it was yeah. so cute. The kids had a great time. So here we go. Day number 17 of the cheese. Remember, these are repeats, okay? So, we didn't We didn't have a much. Oh, you're opening 22, too. Did it open 22, too? Yep. I didn't mean to. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do we that. might not talk to them a little while. Why is that? Because we don't have a lot video today. You didn't video a lot? Well, there wasn't a whole lot to video. Oh, there was a lot to video. You didn't get any of the play? I got a little bit of the play, okay. but not... Did you get any, I didn't know you get what any they would the do about music. Did you get any of the Christmas goodies that linger longer? No, I didn't oh. get any Did you get any with Santa Claus coming? I did I did get Santa Claus coming in. Mm -hmm. Gouda semi-matured. Have we had that one before? I don't think we have, have we? Beats me. All right, let's try it. Ready? I'll try it again. Let's smell it. I've decided I'm not much of a good person. It smells good. I'm not a good. I'm not a good person. This smells good. It smells a little bit like cheddar. Hmm, that is good. I like that. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm that that one's good. That is a good one. Gouda matured. Yeah, I like that. That's so it's, good. It's the immature gouda you don't like. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So today was a really good day. Tell. Them, I have my sermon lined up. Oh, yes. The Holy Spirit got to moving in the second service. He preached the first service. Oh, yeah. We got to do couch time. Preached the first service. The second service, um, it was like the Spirit just started moving in um, the second song. Second song set. And then by the time we got to the third song, we started the third song. Um, the gentleman who we went to see in the hospital with cancer um, he was at church today. He was at church today. Him and his wife came down. The church just flooded the altar behind them. And then you began to pray over people. And um, we believe in anointing with oil and praying over the sick. That's what James, the book of James says to do. And, um, and, and we prayed for the sick. And then um, it, the spirit was just moving. And, and then by the time... Everything had come back. It, he couldn't get a sermon preached. Yep. So he opened the floor to anybody who had a testimony. We had some beautiful testimonies. And it was just a be it's just one of those good services that you're like, oh yeah, you know. So it was a great, it was a great day. We um it was just a great day. Just a powerful day in his presence. I mean, it was really good. But if had I got to preach um like I did the first service. I've been, I've been dealing with the word peace. Uh, Isaiah um, chapter 9, where it says that uh, that the Lord, that unto us a child is born, a child is given, his name shall be um, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And so I've been dealing with the Prince of Peace, what it is like in our life to experience peace. Last year, uh, last week, I said, if you want to have peace, we started with the P, you have to have his presence, how his presence will bring, bring peace into your life. And just having him there because his presence will overcast any fear, or overshadow any fear, and his presence will bring comfort. And he brought that to life out of Psalms 23 last week. And today, uh, I dealt with the E and the A, P-E-A, P -E -A. the E was everlasting love. Um, and I came out of Romans chapter 8, which says, nor height, nor depth, nor 
darkness or principalities, uh, whatever, blah, 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 that nothing can separate us from the love of God. And so I dealt with that. And then also, okay, that was the E, the everlasting love. And then I dealt with um, the prodigal son, how the prodigal son knew that his father had that everlasting love, that unconditional love for him. And that is one of the things that compelled him to come back home. And so the, the A was his assurance how we have the Lord's assurance that in him we are more than conquerors. Also, too, in, in Romans 8, <coughs> it says, believing that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And so we dealt with today that assurance of knowing that all things work out. May not work out the way that you would have them, but all things do work out together for good. Um, and so that's what we unpacked today in the first service. Second service was just as powerful as the first service. So had a great day, unique day. And we had an amazing offering. Our March to the Major offering was amazing. And uh, we just celebrate what God did in that. And so that goes to our building fund, which we're going to be building a new building in a couple of years. And so that's uh, that's a, that's a wrap for today. Day. Just a great day. Kids play tonight. Uh, Wednesday night, we're going to be a little gathering. Next Sunday will be our Christmas Eve service. And so... Uh, Christmas Eve is a week away. A week away from today. So get ready. And it's already nighttime. So really, it's less than a week because... Tonight's over. Yeah, tonight's almost over. We're going to bed in a minute. And so, yeah. I can't believe it's already here. Tomorrow, and I feel like my decorations just got put up. Tomorrow is goodies for the next five days, oh, six yes. days on cooking, here. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Okay. So you probably, probably don't get a lot of farm life or a lot of our daily life because you're all going to be flooded with goodies over the next several yep. days. Yep. So I'm excited. I want, I'm ready to get it done. And uh, I'm going to put him on wrapping duty and finishing buying presents duty and wrapping duty. Everything but cooking duty. Wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Yep. All right. So there you have it. You got a drink for us? I, I, I've got so many. I just can't remember what I told them. You know? Yep. Reindeer. Yeah, that was a good one. Looks like reindeer. It rained all day. Oh, I, I did show them that. I showed them our front yard, the orchard. It becomes a monsoon when we get a lot of rain. crazy. And um, it was still raining, so it was dark when we came home. So I don't know how bad it was when we came home. So. We've probably got about two inches today. Uh, yeah, I would say. Yeah. All right, that's it, Mom. All right, we will see you guys tomorrow right here on the Farming Pastor's Wife. We love you guys. Remember, the grease is hot enough. Oh, yeah, give us a thumbs up. Share our videos. Be sure you su subscribe if you haven't done so. Remember, the grease is hot enough. You, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.